Hi guys, my name is Mitz and I'm going to upgrade my Socrates installation because they just released a new version. Okay, so um, if you've got any customizations that you want to keep that you've actually edited, so just basically if you go to appearance and then editor, now if you've slipped any, you know, editing code editing into your CSS file or anything like that just select it all okay and we're going to copy it so to select it all you press control and A and then to copy it we press control and C and basically you can just paste it into a notepad and then save it onto your computer so basically paste so there it is and um, then we're going to go save and it'll come up with see I've already backed it all up there see I've got the CSS, the sidebar, sign in just in case but I didn't really need that um, and the Socrates header alright so I'm going to cancel it so that's only if you need to back up something that you've changed now the next thing is that I'm going to go into the settings which is here and if you've got WordPress super cache or something like that go down to it there it is there WordPress super cache now excuse the accent because I am an Australian so it might sound funny to the USA people or anything like that Right, so um, what I want to do is I want to turn the caching off, okay, and press update status. Okay, so we've got it off now, we're right, now we're going to go and change the theme. So we're going back to appearance. Now, um, if you're unsure about this, you can also go to the tools section here. If you press on tools, oops, you press on tools and you get an option to export. So that would export your files and stuff like that. So I'll just press on it anyway, just to show you. So you press export and you go to this page and it just says all content. So I'm going to go for that and press export just to be safe. And now it says save the file so I'm going to save it and then it wants to know where I want to save it. So I've got a folder that I go to. I try and make it the same thing all the time and I'll just take, see how I've got some backups in there? Well I'm just going to save it. Okay so it's done. Now I'm going to do it now. Okay so I pressed on appearance and what I want to do is I want to revert back to the other theme which is here. Okay this is the default one so I'm going to press activate on it. Now your website's going to look a bit stupid for a minute but don't worry about it. It's just going to take a minute to activate. Okay, so that's up there. Now I'm going to go down to Socrates here and I'm going to press delete and press OK. It's all a bit scary, isn't it? <laughs> I hate doing this, but you have to do it. Um, the next thing is make sure that you have downloaded the theme okay okay so now we're going to the install themes tab up here okay and we're going to press on upload now when you're doing this you're going to need your activation um, key which is at um, the Socrates website when you downloaded it okay um, okay here it is here Socrates 2.29 okay so we're going to press open and install now ok 
okay so it just takes a little bit okay so let's activate it straight away now I'm gonna have to go into my settings quickly okay there it is there now I know this would have messed my website up a bit so I've got to go and have a look in another tab and see what it looks like well actually the only thing that it messed up is this okay which is amazing I didn't even have to copy any of the header code or anything it bought it with it um, the, uh, the thing that it did mess up is that the menus have disappeared okay which I can handle for a minute because it still looks fine see there's the plugins everything okay I'm happy with that very happy because usually you have to rush around like an idiot to try and fix things up now have a look let's go down alright now it, it hasn't got the footer there right so I have to replace that so that's what we're looking for things that we have to fix it has got all the sidebar items even the custom ones so that's good so um, what I'm going to do is go into the settings this is looking pretty easy so far okay so here it is up the top now now this is interesting it was down the bottom so now I've got to look up the top here there it is press on it okay so we have got these up here I can see for something different and we've also got them down there so let's go to the layout section first okay so we're still on the same layout now I'm not going to muck around with that because that's why my website looks okay right so we'll go down I think everything else is pretty much in place let's go down okay we've got the search settings here now that is a new fe feature um, as you can see it is displaying a search box which looks a bit weird with that little search button and everything but um, I'll fix that up later what I'm gonna do here is actually get my Google code and paste it in there now that is great because I don't have to do anything now that every shot website should have that okay um, we've got all these other settings here look um okay yep it's got a few things happening here um all right so pretty much all of that's the same let's just press save i'll come back to that because i'm really happy that it kept all my settings there now we go the problem is let's go to navigation now i know that um if you want to use Socrates menus you can um, but you can also what I'm gonna do let me press on that and save it because that might bring my old menus back and save me a lot of work just for the minute and that it did too see it's brought back all the menus I had already now this will give me time to work out a strategy to implement like for when I'm using these menus here right because I'm gonna end up putting drop-down menus on which I don't have to do straight away which is great now um, if I want to go and disable it I'll just tick on that and then I'll go and start making a menu in here now I'll, I know that they're gonna make a video about that but um, anyway we'll wait for that um, otherwise I'll make one because um, I'm sure you'll be all desperate to use it alright the next thing um, so now if I go to the website I will have my menus back so let's refresh it it'll look much better refresh the page and there's my menus back there we go except for they've placed the ooh, here we go now I've lost my banner and everything alright 
I do need the backup of the CSS and everything. Look at that. Okay, and I do need to move that search back over there. That's okay. And also, it seems as though they have changed the... Um, oh boy. They've changed the CSS here. So it looks like the writing is really, really tiny. Um, it looks totally weird. Just not what I'm used to. That's okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to change that. All right. Um, the first thing I'll do is put the banner back. Okay. So let's go back in there and go to. Well, I'm getting lost here. Let's go to the header section. So it probably took a minute to for everything to kick in and now um, I'll have to edit this and everything. So what I'm going to do is browse on my computer for my image that I've got which is um, in here somewhere in amongst all my junk. I'll just scroll down to where it says pictures somewhere. Right. Okay, and then we'll just go down the bottom somewhere. I know it's around somewhere. Um, a banner. I think that one's it. I'm hoping that one's it. Let's open it and press upload. Okay, so there it is. Well, they've at least left the settings of my writing there and that, so maybe I don't have to do anything. That was quite easy. Alright, um, I'm going to go down the bottom and press save. Okay, so make sure you do that. And that should be done now. So just remember that I've got uh, Supercache um, disabled as well. So I'm going to have to go back and put that on soon. Oh, Also, I just realised that there was a page rank update today too. Can you believe that like last week I dropped from 4 to 2 and now I'm back to 3. Now I've never seen that many changes within a couple of weeks. That's crazy. Alright. Anyway, we're getting there, aren't we? Um, but the thing is, unfortunately I don't like their font. Okay, it's too small. Um, people can't read it. I don't mind that. That's an actual quote. That looks quite good and it's actually bigger than the actual font so but that could be um, it could be another reason for that as well I don't know whether they've actually changed it or not I'll have to have a look um, but it just looks a bit small for me like I, I'd almost have to start wearing glasses if I wanted to read that but that's okay it's not a big deal because you just can't replace this this actual theme it's fantastic right so what else have we got in here um, so I'm gonna have to go and edit the CSS because it looks weird totally um, alright so what else have we got here so we've got different things here we've got we've a language tab let's go and have a look um, okay well that's interesting but there probably isn't much there at the moment they usually work on things and um, you know they come out with some amazing things so we'll see what happens in this section um, alright now I've got my website back to normal kind of except for that there so I'm gonna have to get that back up um, of the CSS that I used. So I'm going to go and get it out of my files, wherever that is. It's a bit of a difficult situation sometimes finding things on my computer. Um, okay, so I just, um, it's in the backups, all oh, website backups, WordPress website builder. So let's go. Um, so it's CSS. So let's go and have a look at it. 
So what I want to do is um, obviously they've still got the it in the same spot. I'm just going to scroll down in my CSS. I actually made a post about this so if you don't know how to change the position of your search box because it's ended up on the um, navigation bar again which is not a good idea um, this is where I did it these three lines okay I am search form and all that now there's a post on my blog about it so it shows details on what writing you meant to use and all that stuff so what I'm going to do is copy that and I'm going to go back to my website wherever I was there and I'm going to go into the editor so we're going to go to appearance oh I'm in appearance oh <laughs> okay um, and then editor and it should end up on the um, style sheet straight away now I'm going to go go down and find those three lines again okay um, where it says I am search and that now you can also um, press control and F okay and down the bottom because I'm using Firefox we'll just look for search see how it's come up straight away for me now if you're using Internet Explorer the, the find or search box might be up the top of the screen okay right so they've changed it a little bit the layout of the lines here so what I want to do is compare it okay so I'm just gonna bring up um, I think they're the same three lines it's just that they're not laid out the same okay so what I'm going to do is just compare it quickly with my other CSS and just basically just check it out and go oh yeah it's in the brackets it's blah 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 radio that's how I compare it so what I'm going to do is just to be sure okay which it pretty much looks the same to me okay but just in case let's copy this from here this is how we're going to be safe with all this right and we're going to copy it and we're going to paste it into a notepad so I'm going to grab a notepad and I'm going to paste it in there just to be safe so I can go and put it straight back okay so now I'm going into the other CSS again because I'm going to have to copy it again now this is my old one that positions it right. I hope I'm not confusing you too much. What I'm going to do here is just paste it over the top. Okay, so I've pasted it in. Right, now I'm going to press update file. Mm. Okay, so at the moment, let's refresh it and see if the search box moves up here. There we go. Radio. So I've got the search box up there. Now one thing that I've noticed is it's too long and it's got that weird button there and all that. Now obviously if the weird button stays there I'm going to have to move it up or else I'm going to have to make that smaller but that's fine. Now the next thing is that I'm going to grab my Google code. Okay so now I'm going to go back in and we're going to add the Google code into the um, actual thing wherever it had it. Where are we? Socrates? Okay. Right, so I think it's in the layout section. And just scroll down a bit and it says uh, search settings radio so we have the code okay so now I'm going down the bottom and I'm going to press save now what I'm going to do is go and have a look because that code has its own measurements okay so we're going to press on home again to refresh it also I would like to move that over a bit which is very easy it's in the CSS now um, I'm going to give you a link to that 
um, post, okay, that shows you how to do it. Now, um, the other thing is um, editing the CSS. I'm going to have to look into that. Um, obviously, it looks a bit different. I don't know whether that's happening to everyone or just me. Um, the actual headings, I see that they've changed something here too. Um, well, actually, yeah, they've got the heading 3 rather large and that's heading 2 so they've got them all the same actually but anyway um, I will go in and check it out alright um, that'll get you going for now anyway alright thanks for watching okay guys if you're watching this video on YouTube um, you can click on the subscribe button up here and also click here um, and there's 238 other videos okay so subscribe right and also um, usually when I do a video I've got a link to the website that will give you more information about what the video is about so basically this video here is about Windows 7 tips at the moment and if you click on that link it'll take you to heaps more Windows 7 tips Alright, um, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe on this button and visit my website down below. Alright, thank you.